That's right. We in this. All right. Let me play some. Uh, let me play some copyright uh, free tunes here. On a non-lagging platform. Yeah, exactly. I'm really happy to see that we're moving on to different things. I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. We out here. All up in this. How's it going, everyone? How's it going? I am Snail OXD, and this is my first YouTube live stream. At least, first full time YouTube live stream. This is going to be the live streaming home of Snail OXD for the foreseeable future. I am no longer on Twitch, okay? I'm no longer doing Twitch. I I am moving on to other different bigger better things. I um, so I'll give you guys a lowdown on what's on, on why I made the change. Okay, this is why I stopped streaming on Twitch. All right, I stopped streaming on Twitch because Twitch overall as a platform is uh, making decisions that don't leave me very confident in uh, in my tenure on the platform. I've been on Twitch for a few years now, and I've been watching it steadily get worse in terms of policies that are anti-creator. And uh, not only that, but the culture on Twitch is not good. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's very high school is the best word I can describe it. It's very back and forth. He, sh he said, she said, and it it's a lot of my truth. And meanwhile, like it's not true. Um, you know, it's a lot of drama, a lot of gossip, a lot of bullshit, and I'm, I'm just not here for it. I don't want it. I'm not interested. I'm 28 years old. I don't need to be involved in stupid, petty shit that doesn't matter. For the longest time, I've had everybody I know 
who talks about Twitch stuff. I've had them all muted. Um, even friends. Like, it, it's and it's not personal. It's just I don't want to see it. And you post about it too much for me to not have you muted. So I'm not going to unfollow because I'm still your friend and I would still like you to be mutual with me. But at the same time, I don't want to see that, you know? I just don't want to see it. It's my little way of saying, like, I don't hate you. The stuff you post just sucks. That's it. That's that's pretty much all it is for me, anyways. How are you guys doing? Enough about that. That's boring. Let's talk about this. The now. The here. The future. The future of the channel. The future of the channel is going to be that basically I'm I'm going to be streaming on, on YouTube. Full stop. For the future. For the entire future. Like, that's just what I'm going to be doing. Um, Twitch is probably not going to have another stream, but it's not impossible to have another stream. It's, it's you know, it, it can happen. But is it going to happen at any point in the future? No, probably not. Like, at least not in the near future. Maybe in a month from now, I'll go on Twitch. Who knows? Um, but for right now, I'm looking forward to YouTube. We just made the new requirements for partner, which means that we can now get um, memberships. Uh, and, and I can set my own membership prices. So if you guys will notice, on the membership option... On the channel, it'll tell you that you have a membership for five or four ninety nine Canadian, uh, or an equivalent amount in USD. The reason I made that change is because five bucks Canadian is about a solid amount. I'm happy with that amount um, for a membership, and I also think it's an amount that a lot of Canadians would be happy with. Keep in mind, Canadians before watching my stream would have to pay seven dollars, uh, which is just a little bit too much like it's it's not a very comfy amount it's kind of crazy it's out there right i'm more than comfortable taking five dollars canadian even if you know it means that i get less from american viewers fine that doesn't make a difference to me i'm happy to pass those savings on because the sub split on youtube is 70 30 not 50 50 like twitch so i'm more than happy to uh, take a reduced amount if it means I get to pass those savings on t to you guys. That's a small iced coffee and pastry at Timmy's. Yes, right? It's expensive. Seven bucks is expensive. You know, $5 is a little bit more negligible. Did I say that right? Negligible. Yeah. It's a little bit more negligible than, than $7. $7 is a little much, you know? So I'm more than happy to pass those savings on to you guys. And now you can, you know, get a membership at a discounted rate instead of at Twitch's fuck off $7 Canadian rate, which is insane. It's absurd, if you ask me. Absolute tomfoolery there on that platform. Anyways, what's going to be happening now, happening now too on this platform, on this channel, is that I'm also going to be focusing towards uploading, getting more, you know, getting more videos out there. I want to make l more low effort videos to pad out the time between my bigger video essays. So I might start doing that. But the thing is, is like, what do I talk about in those shorter videos? That's something for me to figure out. I've been thinking about doing the same thing. Honestly, YouTube is so much better for growth. So here's the thing, right? I don't know that it's better for live stream growth. I think it's better, it's it's obviously better for growth overall, but that's us talking about like, you know, that that's us talking about long form videos, shorts, stuff like that, right? All worked in. If all you're doing is live streaming, I don't know that you want to move to Twitch, but overall, yeah, I will say that Twitch seems to so far kind of be on its way out. I've been thinking about doing... Oh, right. I already read that. By the way, hey, Salty. Welcome in. George, what's up? This kind of goes in a less profit direction, but your fee should totally be 420 CAD. That'd be hilarious. Because not only would it be 420 Canadian, it would look like 420 cannabis. You know what I mean? Pay me 420 cannabis dollars. And then you can get a membership on my channel. But yeah, anyways, we're like, you know... I've, I've made getting the membership cheaper for you guys. That's another reason why I wanted to go to YouTube is because I want to have more control over what I charge for a membership, right? 
because you know having a set amount on twitch is nice because people get to relate to one another and what they make in terms of sub count i don't really care about that i prefer you know i prefer to be able to uh set my own price decide what i want my community to pay if that's what they want right and i think going for a lower price is the way to go i'm the kind of guy who likes a deal i like a deal okay you guys know i'm cheap i'm cheap as fuck okay i'm frugal in many ways so why would that not reflect in what i want to charge for a membership for a channel membership right it should reflect it absolutely should so that's one thing that i'm really happy to have been able to do um so far and it's only the first day so yeah i um i've been it's been in the works for a long time that i've go that i've that i'm leaving twitch it's something that i've talked about for a long time um and it feels nice to do it also because i feel like i feel like in many ways twitch is stricter than youtube in in the dumbest ways in like the dumbest ways twitch is is stricter than youtube so for example nobody is treated equally on the platform it doesn't matter who you are there's two ambulances what the fuck are you serious guys apparently there's two ambulances outside the apartment and like going into the store across the street and it's the vape store i go to jesus christ that's a little insane guys it's a little fucking crazy for a wednesday night what the hell sadly for the long run youtube is a little more uh, sustainable practice although highly saturated but it's better than a platform that is currently getting beat by kick yeah so those are my two those are my two big options right my options were either go to kick or go on youtube and i thought about going on kick at first because i heard that there was an explosion in user numbers like i heard lots of people were going and i've seen it in some of my friends streams like i've seen people who would normally just do 20 tops on Twitch, I've seen them go to 70 on kick and I'm thinking to myself, man, that's a little insane. Like they're really growing. So I wondered like, clearly Twitch hasn't worked for the past couple years, right? Clearly it hasn't been the place for me. I don't think my target audience is on Twitch. I think it's a very different kind of target audience on Twitch right now. And I don't know that they're my kind of people if that makes any sense. So I went ahead and uh, thought about it and I thought, okay, my options are kick or YouTube. YouTube, obviously it's a wide net. You cast a wide net, you're gonna catch all sorts of different fish. Kick is the big boy who is quickly growing up into a fine young man because people are moving over to kick like crazy. And granted, it is a lot of smaller streamers who haven't maybe had success on Twitch, but Kick just signed a non-exclusive deal with XQC, okay? Granted, XQC used that deal to do XQC things like absolutely fucking nothing and just watch a movie. But uh, listen, if you're going to watch an XQC stream, you know what you're signed up for. You're just there to watch a French Canadian watch other stuff and then occasionally leave to go get food. That That's what you're doing. That, that's, that's XQC content, okay? Never mind what I think of it. I don't think good things of it, but hey, you know, literally get DMCA'd. Yeah, you'd get DMCA'd on YouTube really fast if you did that, if you tried to pull that. So, I mean, like, options being Kick or YouTube. I tried to set some stuff up on Kick, but I was having trouble putting panels. And beyond that, I, I just kind of don't know how I feel about trading Twitch for essentially Twitch with a green color scheme. Cause that's what kick is now yeah the sub splits better but like listen i don't get enough subs in a month anyway for that to matter and um like whatever it's not really a concern for me so i thought about it and i thought about going to youtube and you know i considered on youtube i've been growing i had a pretty great period of growth a few months back uh i i need to keep up on the platform like i need to keep doing stuff you know and on top of that, like it's where I have the most potential right now. So why not go to YouTube? 
why is there this debate between going to kick or going to YouTube? No, I should just go to YouTube because that's where everything is. That's where all the content is. That's where I've built a community so far of subscribers. It's where it makes sense. Why do that when I, and why go to kick when I can just come here? So this has worked out for me really well. Um, Hi, I'm new snail coin 10. <laughs> that's one thing I am going to miss coming over from Twitch is the meme rewards. Also another thing guys, um, mix it up rewards are no longer possible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So we've been talking for about 17 minutes now, you and I, everybody. I, uh, I think it might be high time for us to get into the game. Uh, let me just real quick search up where the, uh, where is the hidden door on Rosny Grad Peak. Okay, so I'm kind of looking for where uh, the hidden door is. There's a frog ammo supply along the mountainside. Excellent sniper position that rids the areas of enemies outside the doorway leading into the mountain. The mountain top. Sneak up to the right side of the area until the snake reaches a small snack shack. Grab supplies, crawl through the hole at the back of the shack. Snake enters another tunnel, merges in front of a supply room. Uh, pillage the room, blow up the building, then enter another tunnel across from the one snake came out of. Follow the trench up the mountain where there is a door. Enjoy the cutscene. Backtrack to the previous area while picking up items. The trench that snake used to sneak up the mountain is now patrolled by guards with flamethrowers. These do a large amount of damage, so try to check the map screen to locate the entrance to the tunnels. It is marked with an X. Okay, so I just now learned that there is, in fact, a map function in Metal Gear Solid 3. The more you know, I guess. Fuck it. Okay. Let's do this. Pull up real quick a second. Close. Turn the music off. I'm sick of this royalty-free, beautiful music from stream tunes that you should definitely all listen to. Okay, I'm not sponsored or anything. Uh, I may wish I was sponsored, but that's beside the point. Uh, I need the emulator. Okay, how many of you have been keeping up with this fucking submersible news? Everywhere I go, I can't escape this. I, am, am I the only person in the world who straight up does not care? I might be. I might actually be the only person in the world who doesn't care about the submersible. It, it's, it's not mine. I don't give a shit. I'm also not any of those rich billionaires. They've probably all killed each other already. Billionaires are like fucking animals, man. Uh, okay. I need DS4. Uh, and then we gotta go to YouTube. I gotta pull up the actual YouTube app. Okay, cool. I can say with confidence they are most likely dead at this point. Yes, yeah. I think most people can say that with confidence. Mm. Oh my god. I'm getting dinner fucking belched back up. It's, it's phenomenal. Okay. Now, let's uh, start the game. Let's get it started in here. Is that displaying correctly? The beautiful thing about having, um, yeah, there we go. It's displaying correctly. Correct. Correctory. Can I switch to all messages? Chat filter, all messages. There we go. I love the comments on that. They got the full Titanic experience. 
<laughs> oh, you want baby cat tax? Fine, fine. I, I said no last time. I'll show you this time. I'll be back. Silence through the night What a thrill I'm searching and I'm melting to All right, I'm back. So this is Baby Cat. This is Bubsy. He's a little hard to see because he's, you know, a black cat. But here, there he is. He's like, "Dad, what are you doing? Stop." This is uncomfortable. That's right, that was Bubsy the Nephew. I wonder how our actual nephew and niece feel about um, having animal cousins. I wonder if they're comfortable with that. Oh well. That's an ish them and not an ish me. That's the important thing. <laughs> Let's press the start button. Load game. Um... All right, so there's a map function. I'm going to see if that helps me. Maybe that will. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll find out, I suppose. Um, yeah. I, I know that there's no emotes yet, and I still have to, like, get those set up, but I'll, I'll have those set up at, at some point this week, guys. At some point this week, okay? At some point. All right, so we're here. We're on Grozny Grad or uh, Krasnogordye Peak, I believe it is. I just, I have, they have animal siblings, so it's fine, that's true. Yo, what's this heart button do on the, bro, that's so cool, what the hell? Are people hitting emotes? Yo, are you guys hitting emotes? That's so neat, what the hell? Thank you so much, that's so cute. I love you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw one of my own in there, hold up. Keep it 100. Yeah. All right, cool. Who's doing that? All right, let's check the map. So apparently there's an sort of like an X marks a spot sort of situation that I'm, I'm missing. Oh no, those are for the cat? Wow, thank you, I guess. Jackass. Krasnogornye. Uh, let's get these Raymond noodles. They probably died at the 110 minute mark when they first lost contact. Yeah, that's what everyone is saying too. And that's what makes the most sense to me as well. Like, y you know, like there's, there's, you're not, you're not going that far down and coming back alive when something messes up. It's not possible. It doesn't happen that way. It simply doesn't. You can live react. Congrats. Thank you, Lita. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate that. Lita, have you ever played Yakuza 0? I started playing it recently. It's fucking wild. I love it. Alright, so yeah, we're right. It's a, it's an X marks the spot kind of situation. So, I just keep going straight. Shit. Alright, um... You know what? I'm gonna have to go about this sneaky-like, I think. Could I perhaps sneak my way? Oh shit, okay. Do I have a suppressor for anything? Hold on. Weapon, let's add this. I think I might have a suppressor for this. No, I don't. Fuck. I don't have any suppressors. That sucks, dude. 
Yeah, I don't have any suppressors, nothing crazy. I have a handkerchief. I wonder if I get right up close to him, can I use it? Maybe I can. All right, we're going to use the handkerchief. Hey, Kate. Welcome in. All right. Uh, I was with multiple friends when I played it. Have you done the Majima segments? The Majima, the Majima segments are my favorite. I actually really like Majima's story. Like, I like it probably better than Kiryu's story. I don't doubt they did. The pressure at 12,000 feet is astronomical. Plus, the sub has many engineering and constructive errors. Something definitely popped. For real, though. For real. For real. That shit is scary. Why do rich people put themselves in these positions, bro? Like, this is the fault of rich people with lots of money and far too much dopamine. God, could you imagine, George, if some sort of Metal Gear Solid type shit like that happened? That'd be insane, dude. Alright, let me see if I can... Who's that? Fuck, that didn't work. Oh god, oh god, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Don't see me. No, don't come in HQ. Fuck. Let me just wave my handkerchief at him really quickly. Alright, good. Alright, I guess the cat's out of the bag. I better... Oh, fuck. I was gonna say, I better just... Alright. I better just wave my handkerchief over at everybody now. Uh, What's the ointment? Yeah. And then I probably need a bandage, right? And what's that? A cut? It's not that bad, Snake. You'll be fine. I promise. Uh, suture kit bandage. Yeah. New platform, same quote-unquote stealth gameplay. <laughs> I'd like to see you sneak around in the Russian mountainside like, like Naked Snake does, okay? This is tactical espionage action. Nothing about that says stealth. Show me where it says stealth in, in the subtitle of Metal Gear Solid. Thing is, everyone is popping off about them using controllers, but people forget that the Unity engine is working with the army and they use controllers a lot more now. Yeah. I was watching a TikTok and they brought up rich people don't know how to react in situations they can't throw money at and they die in winter in the wilderness a lot. Essentially, yes. Because rich people are, are so used to being coddled by their wealth that they don't understand when the shit goes down, the shit really goes down. Oh. There we go. All right, perfect. Wipe his face a little bit. All right, they don't know where I am. I literally could not ask for a better outcome to this. Oh, shit! They going this way? Fuck. Alright, that takes care of that! <laughs> I love that I'm just fucking wiping them down with this- Fuck! God damn it, stop! Bro, that's not funny. Stop it. It hurts. To them, it's always a game, yeah. Um, Hold up. Are we out of enemies? I think we are. Thank God. Okay, I need a life medicine, like, really badly. I also probably need to eat something. Uh, Emperor Scorpion? Yeah, we'll eat it. Not so great. Uh, it's not great, but whatever. It's fine. God damn it, our goats are fucking rotten. That sucks. Oh well. That's because rich people often don't have the cognitive awareness and survival sense that non-rich people do since it's our everyday. I mean, in, in, in many ways, yes. In many ways. I've completed Dishonored 1 and 2 in Ghost and Clean Hands. I know how to stealth. Yeah, okay, sure, buddy. Sure you do. Top tier gameplay. Wax on, wax off method. Yeah. 
All right, I think we're good. Like, I, I don't think we're in... Oh, I heard someone behind me just now. Let me look at the map. All right, I got to continue on this trench. This whole time, Snake's just been going, yoo -hoo! Waving his handkerchief and <sighs> fucking knocking these guys out. Don't see me. Don't see me. It's too late. You've been waved at, sir. All right, where is it? A couple degrees to my left. So, like, here. Oh, there it is. I'm curious about the stream quality is for everyone else. I seem to be stuck at 144p. Yeah, so what's the quality like for you guys? Is it okay? You're at 1080? All right. Um, I'll probably... Oh, shit. You know what? I actually kind of need suppressors. So let me go check those guys. You might have to manual... Yeah, sometimes on YouTube streams, I have to manually do that sort of thing. Don't be surprised if that's what you have to do as well. Um, Bro, where are all the sleeping... I tucked all these dudes into bed. Why? Why am I not finding them? Oh, there. Give me something. Yes! Ah, oh, it's a battery. Fuck! Okay, give me something. Flammenwerfer. It's a smoke grenade. I don't need smoke grenades. Smoke grenades in this game kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. They don't do anything. Uh, Pentazamin. I will take it. Okay, now give me a suppressor. Uh, shotgun shells. Don't really... I mean, I don't really need them. They're not great. Whatever. I'll just... Um... Oh, here's another guy. Oh, I got a suppressor. Thank God. Oh, my Lord. Jesus. Have mercy. I'm at 720p, 60... Mine goes up to 1080. Oh, and I got a suppressor for the pistol, too. All right. Backpack. We can use the pistol again. I can't believe the handkerchief actually came in handy. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to take fall damage there. So far, what would you guys say? Is the quality better or worse than Twitch streams? Like, in your opinion, how has the quality been so far? Uh, oh, yep. Oh, it's a grenade. There's a boss fight here, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think it's a dude named the Fury. Algorithm check. Don't forget to like the stream now that we're here. On yes, please. Thank you, Salty. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, guys, if you can do me a solid, like a quick solid, uh, like like solid snake kind of solid, and just um, hit like on the stream because those are super important on YouTube. They will make me a very happy boy. Which is the resolutions and it my internet. So, so far, you'd say it's probably a change for the better as far as you're concerned. Which makes me happy to hear. I definitely, one thing I was scared about was a downgrade in quality. Let me just hop down here. Beat some ass. Let me see if I exit. Yeah, try that, Kate. That might help.
Huh. Cool. Ben. Got his name right on his helmet. That's useful. It's the last thing his enemies see before they get roasted alive. Bro, those fucking bats didn't do anything to you. What's wrong with I you? I am the fury. Okay. The flames of my rage will incinerate you. Okay. I came back from space. Oh, that's why is the astronaut outfit. I had one vision. The world set ablaze. It's a little know extreme. What What'd you see? Not Fury. much better, but it did go up to 360. At least it went up. I don't know why why it's giving you problems. It's weird. And terrible fury at being alive. Now you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. Bro, that's racist. Okay. Uh, let's fucking give her. I'm assuming the corridors are meant to be like death traps for him. I don't know where he is. I hear him over to my right. I don't like what I'm hearing. Wait, do I have a better camouflage? Hold on. Just tell this fury guy to back it up real quick. I'm, I'm just putting some clothes on. Uh, just a second, Mr. Fury, sir. Oh, I'll be right with you. Nice. Snake wearing blackface. We hate to see it. Where is this guy? Where'd you go? Yeah, you can't find me. Loser. Where is this kid? Is he like whoa? I gotta find out what he's walking on, that's the issue. I actually don't know where he's at. Oh, he's in the far corridor. All right. Over here. Over here. Uh, I can't climb that. Uh, I can probably climb it from the other side. And now back down to 144. I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, there he is. Ah, yeah. Get dicked on. I can't see who that was. Thank you so much for the subscription. Hold on. Let me pull this up. Snake115, thank you so much. I appreciate you, man. Jesus Christ, Snake, get up. This isn't a game, Snake. I got a cure. Uh, suffering from severe burns. That sounds like it sucks, man. Whoops. There we go. That's fine. Uh, okay. So I'm a little bit injured right now, which is obviously not ideal. Uh, let me just figure out where this dude is. There he is. I see him in the... Need a light. Feel the burning rain. There we go. Yeah, it's... Rips because you're a nerd, that's why. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. I, 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 I didn't mean to make fun of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me anymore. Do I have any more life medicine? Fuck, I'm out. Out of life medicine. What happened? It's too blurry. I'm fighting... I'm fighting a guy right now, is what happened. I don't need the suppressor. Why am I using the suppressor? And actually, I can just, like, use a stronger weapon overall. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life, guys? Hold on. Yeah. Just use that. There we go. Damn it. Okay, it doesn't seem like shooting him while he's shooting flames is a thing I can do. Nope. I'm good. 
Let's see. I, I'm like really low health right now. Hold on. Let me see if any of this can help me. Eat. That's damn good. Yeah, I know it is. Now please, um, heal. I kind of wish rations That's still enough. healed you. No more. Maybe if I just chill for a bit, my health will start climbing back. Little by little. Okay, he's over there. He's about halfway. So we have him in second phase. There we go, we knocked him down. Uh, if it is regenerating, it's regenerating very, very soft. Oh, fuck! I'm dead. I bought Calorie Mate in Japan and it was awful. Really? It was, it was bad? Alright. Mmm, yeah. We can take the suppressor off of that. I'm okay with just using, um... Oh. Oh, shit. He can, like, firebend. That sucks for me. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. Where'd you go? Haha, <laughs> loser, you missed. Oh, there he is. My flame suit is ripped. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, there we go. You know what? It's probably better that I stay up here. Where's that fire coming from? I just tried to mag dump and it did not work. Each blade. Ah. There we go. That's rude. Um, I probably need a different weapon now. Yeah, we'll take that after all, I think. And the rest of it molded because it expired? No. That's terrible. Although it sounds like it wasn't as terrible as the calorie made. There we go. Staggered him. Where is he? Oh, he's over there, right? He's over there, right? I think if I stay on the offensive, I'm I'm pretty much good to go. Fuck! Shouldn't have gotten that close, to be honest. Fuck! Stop burning. It's fine. Burn ointment bandage. Yeah. What's to you? Pussy. Three, two, one. Ignition. Fire. Uh. Jesus, I'm kind of like surrounded here. It's the shitty part. I think I see him. Oh, maybe I can go over here and use this. Here I come. All right. Four, three, two, one. Ignition. Fire! Ah! 
Got him. Boss. This is the end of the Copras. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the soft. Alright, that's that for him. Behold, the flames of fury. The fires of hell will purge me clean. I can see it. Mission control, do you read me? This dude's gonna take off and he's gonna like launch himself into the ceiling. I'm coming home. Alright. I see the earth. <laughs> I was right. Holy shit. Oh, he put a good good sized crater in that because his chunks just fucking fall over. No, I haven't tried that, Tom. Uh, it's just a cutscene, by the way. Like, we just beat the boss. Cool. Now, um... And now would probably be a good time to perhaps eat something. All right, sweet. Still no suppressor for that, but that's okay. Uh, let's let's eat. Uh, we'll have some non-molded calorie mate. I want some more. Fuck, Snake loves Calorie Mate. Okay, so what is Calorie Mate, Lita? Is it just like, um, crackers? Is that all it is? I've only ever heard of this stuff through this game. Ooh, I think we're, I think we're gonna encounter the Sorrow pretty quickly here. Or maybe not. Maybe we've just broken into Groznygrad. like a block of white food substitute that sounds disgusting <laughs> why the fuck does snake like that stuff <clears throat> okay so if i remember correctly this is one of my favorite sections of the game because of how how good the stealth gameplay can be here you have so many... It feels like a lot of the stealth gameplay was crammed into this one section of the game. Because a lot of the other stuff is just like, okay, you're crawling around in the grass, whatever, who cares. I'm just going to hang out here until, uh, until we gather the strength. Let's check the map out, actually. Okay, so our destination is... Where now? Oh, I guess we don't know. All right, in the meantime, we should probably fix up our camouflage splitter. Uh, and then we want probably black. Yeah, there we go. That helps. It did not taste like a cracker to me. This is like back in 2018 or something, and the one I ate wasn't expired. Oh, fuck. 
Alright, maybe we can uh, make something happen here. Let's find out. Yeah, I seem to be healing even when I'm crawling, so that's good news. There's something underneath that platform. I kind of want it. Actually, there's several things kind of underneath that platform, and I want all of them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're just seeing things. Relax, buddy. It's not that deep. Where's this guy? Oh, he's right there. Let's, uh... Ah! There we go. Taken care of. Oh. I will be good at stealth, and I'm going to drag this guy down here. I'm reading other people's experiences, and they all say it makes your mouth dry, and that is very true. That sounds so unpleasant. Why would Snake willingly take this stuff? I don't get it. Grenades are full. There we go. Uh, yep, nothing there. There's some stuff underneath here. I kind of want it. SVD bullets? Don't need them. What a shame. What a shame. Do the thing. Sing the song. I'm still in a dream. Snake eater. Someday you'll go through the rain. Someday you'll feed on a tree frog. Fuck, I love that song. It can be song time. It just depends. Welcome, Fabe. This is, um, this is, I'm going to be streaming here from now on instead of on Twitch. This is the first ever YouTube snail stream um, full-time kind of deal thing. All right? Full-time. Chaff grenades? I don't need those. I haven't used a single chaff grenade all game. Whereas I feel like in Metal Gear Solid 2, there were lots of opportunities to use them. I feel like there, there just isn't... Like, you don't really have a reason to use, like, half the equipment. You could literally just get by on shooting people in the face all game. This is what I sing walking in the Union Tunnels. <laughs> oh my god. If I still walked in the Union Tunnels, I would probably also sing that. Alright, let's see. Is there anyone around here? Uh, anything down here? Anything we can notice? Anyone we can shoot? I do not notice anybody. There's two people. And then... That guy. I'm also kind of wondering, where's my radar, dude? I feel like I haven't had a radar all game, you know? Maybe this game just doesn't have radar because, you know, 1960s. Ooh, what's in there? <gasps> oh, it's a froggy. We're going to shoot a froggy. There we go. Pret pretends to know what the Union Tunnels are. So the Union Tunnels are a... Um, 
series of tunnels in and around Union Station in Toronto. Union Station's the big hub station for all the trains in the area. A bunker-like feel in places. Yeah, it does. It really does. By the way, guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you click like on the stream because it helps us in the algorithm, okay? Don't forget to like it. If you're just coming here for the first time, this is your first time here in a snail stream, make sure you hit subscribe if you like it, okay? We're trying to get to a thousand subs here on this channel. We're trying, trying desperately, I might add. Not that we need to, we're doing a good job. But what I'm saying is we're working hard. Oh God, more stuff I don't need. Is there anything back here that I might want to look at? No, it doesn't seem like it. Can I go this way? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let me just knock on the door real quick. Excuse me. Let me in. Uh, I can't really go in there. I wonder if there's like a crawl space I need to go in. Maybe that's it. Oh, there's a door. That would help, wouldn't it? That frog sound brought back so many memories from my childhood. Did you shoot the frogs as a child? Okay. So far, so good. I see one guy up ahead. There's a spotlight. I can't get caught in the spotlight. So I think my plan of attack is around back here. Uh, just for shits and giggles. Oh. What is that? weird okay so we got one guy there i'm pretty sure we can take this guy out oh <gasps> shit <laughs> all right it's dead i'm gonna climb under this really quick I wonder how close the remake is to, um, like, hold on, this emote's in the way, fuck, no. Here. Is gonna get to the old gameplay, I've heard that they are, they are trying to make the gameplay for the remake as fluid and updated as possible but they are also staying completely faithful to the story, which if that's the case, I'm 100% down for that. Let me just uh, real quick. Nice, got some bullets. Exactly the kind of thing I need. Overall, I would say I'm really, like, I'm the kind of person who's usually pretty cynical about remakes. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I think this one's going to be great. I think it's going to be a hell of a time. Nice, got a ration. I'm pretty sure as long as I... Little beauty sleep, uh, little beauty sleep never hurt anybody. Shit. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, can't get in there. All right, that's fine. I suppose. 
I wonder, can I smash the light? Maybe if I use actual pistol. Yep. Say goodnight. I want to look forward to it, but like Kojima's not on it. I think it'll be okay even with Kojima off. And I'll tell you why. I think that I think that there's going to be a real um group of fans that are working on the game and I don't think that they want to jeopardize the title either. I don't think that they want to do anything that will ruin the original vision of the game. So I think I think your fears will be unfounded. I'm hoping anyways. I'm hoping that's the case. If I end up being wrong, you're more than welcome to tell me that I'm wrong. Let's see anything here. Nope, nothing there. How about here? There's a hatch. Let me try this hatch. Can I... I can't open it? Okay, that's fine. Thought maybe I could open it. Oh well, what a shame. We gotta find our way into Groznygrad. Pretty sure that door over there works, but... Oh, shit! Go the fuck to sleep. Oh, shit. Fuck. Alright, I got it. I got it. I, I just gotta kill it. What the fuck? Why aren't you aiming at the dog? There we go. Fuck, and one for good measure. Then reload. Uh, there we go. Can't, can't go in here? All right. Kind of weird, but sure. Quality console aim. I can't help it. I'm on, I'm on, um, What's it called? I'm on an emulator, so, you know. Can't get in there either. All right, this has got to be it, right? Nope, this is a storehouse, but you know what? Let's read it. Everything's full. Kind of sucks. I have to get in here somehow. There has to be a way in. Can I? No, I can't open that. Trying to get in there. Ah, I see. I didn't even have to go through all that. I could have just gone this way. Must be a skill issue. Absolutely not, sir. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, sir. Okay, um... Maybe we'll just select none for right now. I see two guys. I see there's another spotlight. I can't really do that guy yet. He's in the spotlight. Here we go. All right, let me see if I can... First, I need to eat. 
We'll have some disgusting calorie mate. What the fuck? Why does he like it so much? I can just walk normally, right? Alright, sweet. Once he's out of the spotlight, I can pretty much just get him. Huh? Who's that? Done. How's that for console aim, Tom? Huh? That's right, sir. You better never bully me again like that. Or I swear I'll get real mad. Oh, shit. Shit. Done. Whew. That would have been difficult to explain. <laughs> no, it was actually, like, really quick. It was basically aimbot. It was basically like aimbot. Also, Tom, what the hell? Why are you working? You should be you should be watching me. I need all of your attention, okay? Your your bosses, your work, all that stuff can wait. Let me see if I can get like a like a good still. For the next thumbnail. Alright, cool. That should be good enough, I would think. So part of the issue with streaming on YouTube is that I'm always going to need a thumbnail. And thumbnails have typically always been my weak point. But hopefully this means that I'm I'm just going to have to work harder at it. Aimbotting, what a cheat. Well, you know. We got in. We got into Grozny Grad. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can use the disguise. And then I can probably equip a uh, handkerchief if I can find it. Probably need it in my backpack. Um, can unequip the knife. Unequip that, unequip that. We'll get that. Uh, yep, and that should all work really well. Let me just save now in case this goes south. Do you want to save? Save. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make the most mi Have you ever seen wild the thumbnails. Beach? No, I don't know it. I try to it's every time, but it's always hard the third to. World War. The entire northern hemisphere is obliterated in a nuclear holocaust, and it's only a matter of time before the few survivors left in the southern hemisphere are poisoned by the deadly fallout. Their only hope is an American nuclear submarine that escapes to the southern hemisphere. They set out for the Arctic to investigate the fallout. The movie came out in 59, and the year that the war was supposed to happen was 1964. In other words, this year. Nice warning. Let's hope it stays just a movie. 
I don't know if I've ever brought this up before, but I really like... He even runs like Raiden. That's hilarious. Gas spray gun disguised as a cigarette. Puts enemy to sleep. Press square button to hold. Release emit gas. Let's try this out. We're just going to get in here with this guy, I think. Yep. I hear somebody in here. I don't like that. M97 bullets are full. I got the suppressor for the Mark 22. Let me just climb onto this. Uh, okay. Ooh, 32 caliber submachine gun. Excellent. We'll just carry this handkerchief with us. Very unassumingly. Let me see what's in here. Absolutely nothing, it seems. Yep. Nothing of any sort of interest. I've got a mouse trap though. Matter of time. Your face is dirty. Come over here. I actually really like these these options. All right. Is that yeah, nothing I need. Can probably make my way up, but first I kind of want to check out this over here. Huh. That's Rydenovich. That's the guy I have to knock out and steal his costume. Got him. Let me just drag him back here really quick. Uh, okay, I gotta... How do I... Rather, how should I... Is there like a locker I have to put him in or like, what do I do? Cause basically I have to disguise myself as that guy, right? But how do I do that? That's the question. Or rather, when will the game allow me to do that. Do I kill him? Is that what I have to do? Is do I I mean like I just don't know. Maybe I do. I you know what? I'll I'll save. I'll save and then I'll kill him and then we'll see what you happens. You want to save? Yep. Snake, have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then... Um... 
something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? <laughs> it does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living Damn, room. Damn, I wonder what that was like, they listening to radio had dramas. It out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. Ha! Ah. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. How's that? After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, The Martians <laughs> are coming! That's terrible. Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. <laughs> I, I saw it. So, so even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh-huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand. Mm -hmm. Close at hand. Like a cardboard something box. Like a box. Ah, uh, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. I saw it, all right? <laughs> Love that. All right, let me try killing him. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Or actually, let me call the major. He might have some insight here. Good. You've taken care of Rykov. Now to take those clothes he's wearing. But don't take his clothes off there, out in the open. It's far too conspicuous. Also, once you've disguised yourself as Rykov, you'll need to find some place to hide the real Rykov's body. There must be a place where you can take Rykov's clothes and hide his body. Drag Rykov's body over there. Eva might know a suitable location. Try asking her. All right. Be careful not to wake Rykov up while you're dragging him. And make sure you're not seen by enemy soldiers or scientists. No, this floor is pretty clear. All right, let's call Eva then. You took care of Rykov? Good. Now drag him to the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes. And you can hide his body too. The locker room is on the southwest side of the second floor. Oh Hurry my god. I am going far as fuck. Okay, um, we gotta be careful not to wake him. I'm not exactly sure what that entails, but I guess we're gonna find out. We're probably gonna end up giving Rykov brain damage from all the, um, I nearly shit myself there. Anyone in there? I don't think so. I might get lucky here. And me and Rykov are getting awful close right now. All right, good. We took him to the locker room. He's wearing a man thong. That's hilarious. <laughs> I 
And there's a picture of Raiden inside the locker. Oh my fucking god, that's wonderful. I don't know if you guys caught that, but there was a picture of Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2 on the inside of the locker. That's funny. Holy shit. Actually, I wonder if these lockers have pinups. I should probably check some of them. Anyway, backpack. Uh, probably need... Oh, or, or do I not have... Rykov's clothes? Probably not. That's okay. Alright, that's locked. That's locked. Some pretty good security around here. What's this? I have no idea what that is, but that's okay. Alright, so now... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what the great thing is? I'm not worried about getting banned over this because it's not on Twitch. Oh, can't get through. Uh, yep, I've got the handkerchief. Locked. Fuck. Is that the Shagohod? Yeah, that's the Shagohod. I'm pretty certain. Anyway. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the Shagohod. Getting past these guys. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm pretty screwed here. Maybe if I just keep moving between these two rooms so they never spawn. Fuck! Alright, my plan didn't work. It was pretty bad. It was a pretty bad plan. Alright, he didn't want a face cleaning. Gunshot wound. Oh, wait, no, don't need that. Cool. Scorpion bullets are full, fuck. can't get through there. What the hell? Alright, so what do I have to do next? Major Zero. I see you've got Rykov's clothes from him. Disguise yourself as Rykov and infiltrate the West Wing, where Sokolov is being held. Select officer from uniform on the Oh, I see. Screen. It's in the camouflage menu. Alright. That's where I made my mistake. And of course I have Rykov's mask.
Sir. Wonder what's gonna happen now. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lipstick. He thought it was like a lipstick gun or something. They had all sorts of wild weapons back in the day, dude. Do you guys know they tried to kill Fidel Castro with a cigar? Like, they put a, a tiny little bomb in a cigar, and they were like, ah, yes, he'll smoke this, and it'll blow up. And they ended up, I think they ended up not killing him like it was actually Fidel Castro that grabbed the cigar and started smoking it but it just never killed him it blew up but it wasn't a very good assassination attempt who's there you're the man from the CIA what are you doing here I told you before didn't I I'm going to get you out of here <laughs> a man of honor just like your commander but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahods. <clears throat> exactly. The final preparations for Phase 2 are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. Ooh, we're getting an exposition dump the cut soon. The was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how'd you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, hmm. a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. Holy that shit. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Oh, yes, shit. Precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. That is, that is really bad. That is really bad.
A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohar as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Wonderful photo. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. <laughs> a few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. That's not good. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. 
But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please, watch over my family. Oh, here comes the cock grab. <clears throat> Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. <clears throat> oh, Jesus Christ. He felt his cock up a little bit, and he was like, wait a second, that's not Rykov. Mistaken. What the hell? I know it's way too small. Better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Oh! oh. Goodbye, his kneecaps. disguise it's gonna rub off on you and then you'll lose sight of who you really are stay out of this See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Damn, Snake's getting beat the fuck up. I wonder what Ocelot's gonna do about this. Seems like he's gonna break up this little party.
I'm going to save the data. <laughs> Grozny grad torture room. What a pleasant Tell place. Me. Stop it. Yeah, you missed you missed Volgan grabbing Snake by the crotch. He doesn't know what you're talking about. And he did it twice. Like he went in for a full handful of cock and he was like, wait a minute, you're not Rykov. Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never do you. You monster. It's uh great that I can't see anything. Yes, he's dead. I think he just killed Sokolov. Okay, so Sokolov's pretty much dead. Something all the girls watch. <laughs> the girls be girlin'. Yeah, you horrible Fujoshis, you. I recently got invited to, like, a Discord group. Or, like, a, a Discord server by, um... Mokinoki, you guys know her. And it's like a whole group of her and her friends. And it, it's a women-centered group. Like, it's Consider mostly women in there. Lucky. And they are incredibly Should fucking horny for video game characters. Like. It's kind of crazy, dude. I was not prepared well, for that. I was like, whoa! Every time I open a channel, there's a picture of a, a ripped video game target? character. Doing something a little Is sussy. <laughs> Or Sokolov. No, it's your or mom. Maybe it's the legacy. Okay, fine, it's your dad. Answer me. Who is helping you? Your grandma. Who let you in here? I'd be the worst person to interrogate, dude. You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. Oh, it is so I unbelievably raunchy. Like for real. Man. I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared. It was like I would say it's like the visual equivalent to going into the girl's washroom as a guy. You know what I mean? You know how guys always think that the guy's washroom is disgusting? And, like, guys are like, oh, the women's washroom must be amazing. Must be so clean in there. When in actuality, the women's washroom is, like, way worse. It looks like a really fucking begins. battlefield. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. The girl's washroom is gross. <laughs> Yo, Darth Volgan, what the hell? Oh, answer me. This isn't Star how much Wars. Does the CIA know? It's because girls' They're toilet paper, uh, the they? seats, because they don't want the BD other girls have. I mean, that's a valid concern. I TP the seats too, but I flush the TP down the toilet when I'm done. I TP the seat because, like, if I'm taking a shit in public, like, I don't really want to rub my ass cheeks up on someone's herpes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Let yourself go. That's what I want to see. You ever heard a girl say, I don't want her to use our toilet? No, never. Is that a thing that happens? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. 
And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? Snake's getting it pretty rough. No matter. The philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. Oh, thanks for telling me. You'll never live. What's this? A transmitter. Yeah, it happens. I heard it three Who's times. Responsible for when this? I heard a girl say it, I'm like, oh my god, that's bad. Okay, so how I bad am. the like how much do you know I about that girl's personal to life to know that she may or may not have VD? Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. Pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, <laughs> I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your apprentice. What do you <coughs> want me to do? Kill him. Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. It's pretty ga bad because some girls already get around, but like when those girls are like, yikes, it's bad. When the girls who get around are, are Stop. thrown off by how much other girls what get around, it, you know those other girls are like just... Suffered enough. Well, well. You could still be their friend, but maybe don't Why share a straw with him? them. That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No, I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. Or women. <laughs> oh. Poor Ocelot got slapped twice. There, once by Eva and once by his mom. Well, that was refreshing. Come, we're going to my room. There goes Snake's eye. So you survived the colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. 
it's really not that bad. Um, um, as in what? It's Can you elaborate on that um? That's a real <laughs> sussy um. <clears throat> Am I about to hear some stories of some dutty ladies? You got lucky this time, Tatiana. This is about Volkov. Do you mean Volgan? Run. 144.75? Did you guys see that too? 144.75. What the hell? You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. I mean, Vulgan, not me doing the thing where I yourself. make up people's names. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. If you can't remember a name, just make it up. I see. I got it. Even though you said Volkov, Volgan just—it's—it's it's similar enough. I—I I just know you mean Volgan. I can surmise. All right, cool. I have a fork. Press the square button to slash. Press firmly to stab. Animals and plants captured with this can be eaten on the spot. Oh, neat. Time to eat. Oh, thanks, man. Oh no, I can't stab him. That sucks. Um, and I have the single action army. Dope. I was like, wasn't Rykov Vulcan's lover? He he is. He is Vulcan's lover. All right. So how does one get out of here? Food. Vampire bat. Oh, big sneeze. Hey, buddy, can you let me out of here? I guess he's not going to. This is probably a good time to try out that codec. 144.75. Did that just unlock the cell? It unlocked the cell door. What the fuck? Okay, well, it's 11 o'clock, so this is probably a good time to save the game. Ready to save, Snake? And, um... From there, I think we'll be getting off. And then I'll probably be streaming again. <sighs> what did it say on my schedule? Saturday or Friday? I think it said Saturday, but... Snake? <sighs> Snake? Oh! My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? It feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake? Have you ever heard of Renfield? No. Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along the walls. 
Ugh, change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the Master comes for him, saying, the time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this... The Master spreads his huge wings, and a gust of wind fills the cell. Come on, I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula. Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. So you better start thinking of a way out of there. <sighs> you better not leave me without someone to talk to. <sighs> Please speak. think. There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. I like okay. paramedic. Paramedic's great. Let me great. know if you start having nightmares about Dracula. <sighs> <laughs> paramedic can be so cute sometimes. Uh, here, I gotta, uh, let me stop the emulation. There we go. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been, uh, my first ever YouTube, um, full-time YouTube stream. Uh, I'll see you guys again next stream, all right? Take care, brush your hair, and peace.